Okay, it's raining right now. Um, we are on the way to eat some bude jjigae. Rainy day is perfect for bude jjigae. Bude means military base and jjigae means it's stew. During the Korean War, we desperately needed food. When America came to help, they provided us with an array of processed food. And of course, we had to turn it into Korean style. That is the birth story of the bude jjigae. We win this bude jjigae restaurant, Kim Nejib in Songtan, about two years ago, and we loved this tiny place. In between that time, the restaurant appeared on TV and became super popular and somewhat famous. Bude jjigae in Songtan, which is south from Seoul, is quite different than Bude jjigae in Uijeongbu, which is a more northern region. Uijeongbu Bude jjigae is delightful, has more soup, served in a bigger pot, and has more Korean ingredients such as glass noodles, rice cake, and tofu. You can also add lots of other ingredients as you wish into the stew. Songtan bude jjigae is served much smaller pot with more simple ingredients like kimchi, green onion, processed meat, and cheese. That's it. But flavor is much more thicker, deeper, and hearty. You can add more ingredients into Songtan bude jjigae as well, but it's limited to ham, hot dogs, and ramen. Oh, and the cheese is not an option. It comes with it, baby. Because I can make a little Korean chicken. They have these aprons to protect you and your clothes. So I'm going to wear it. And like, I have to go like this. When you order bude jjigae, the server will bring the loaded pot with a lid on. You better not touch it until it's time. That's garlic that just got put in, I think. See? When the stew is about ready, the server will add a dollar of minced garlic into the soup and mix in with the cheese. <sighs> this Buddha jjigae looks so heavenly. Isn't it look so good? I'm doodling right now. I know exactly what it tastes like and I'm doodling right now. This is the only side of dish you will get from here. Nothing else. So only kimchi. Is everything else is good? Yeah. I like it. Okay, Jacob likes to eat like this a lot of them in his rice bowl. The rice bowl is quite big, so you can add the stew into the bowl to mix it all together because that's the best way to eat Buddha jjigae. Again, we're sitting on the floor. We love sitting on the floor. Can you tell? It's something you need to get used to when you come to Korea and you want to go to authentic places. So start doing yoga and soup. Ready <laughs> soup just with the rice. The chicken is definitely really, really thick, especially the broth is already thick, and because they put the cheese. <laughs> cheaper process system works out better for this bude jjigae because the cheaper cut has more fat and more sodium. <laughs> That's why it works better. <laughs> Mm. It's definitely good on a rainy day. That part is like. I love the kimchi in here. So I think this one, the Songtan style, is a lot more simpler too. It's a thicker, deeper, and simpler. Mm -hmm. 
It's savory, spicy, a lot of textures. It's perfect with steamed the right rice. Mm. <coughs> it's still a little spicy. Not as spicy as that spicy thing. Yeah, how's it getting a cutter? I don't understand. But it's still got enough to where if you keep eating it, yeah, it's, my mouth is like tingling, but it's a good spice. Even the soup has a kimchi, I still need to eat it. I do. And I'm so sorry this isn't spicy enough to put me in pain for your entertainment. We're gonna die. Your life is now over. Food is supposed to not taste the fancy. Like, you can make fancy to your mom, but it's supposed to not taste fancy. Don't think about your health when you eat this, to be honest. Please. You cannot expect wanting to eat food and be healthy at the same time. So it's now a good time for the order of ramen? When you're about halfway done, it's time for ramen. Of course, this is extra, so make sure you ask. And for us, it's a must. I do have a budget to get recipe already. So go ahead and check it out if you want. It's more the Ujongo style, right? Yeah, that one is the Ujongo style. But the, the flavor base is kind of the same. So if you want to know about the Suntan style as well, let me know. I will, I will make that one too. Yes! The world famous ramen. Shin ramen. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to put mine into the bowl so I can bring it up there to eat. Because if not, I will make it. I love these flavors, so I love these flavors, I love these Actually, if you ever come to Korea and try to eat the food, try to put the food down on the table and eat it that way. We are doing this so you can see it. But the table manner. It was very delicious for the chicken. What do you think compared to Ujongbuan? 
Um, it's a different style. Like I think this one's more comforting, a little bit more spicy. That one's more like, um, I don't know. Like I could eat that one more often. This one you don't want to eat that often because it's like so much Heavy sodium. Oh my gosh. But it's like uh Definitely sodium attack. Yeah, but every now and then it's definitely worth it. This was it for today and we need to get out of the rain. <laughs> And I always, my mouth is still burning a little and, bit from all of the. And this is like right front of your face. It's okay. It's it's a it's the effect. But uh, I always want like a little bite of ice cream or something afterwards. We, will, we might get a little sweet bite. Or like a sweet coffee. Okay. We will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye. Love you.